Hey, how's it going? Back here. Haven't done this in a little bit. A couple months. Uh, GameTradingZone.com trade. Let me go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, they will be getting my uh, ASCII pad. What's that? FT Special Capcom version. Pretty awesome Dreamcast fighting pad. Um, only pretty much second to... I'm trying to get that nice in the camera pretty much only second to uh the actual arcade stick so they get some nice stuff i'm gonna go ahead and start getting this all happening over here and uh yeah should be good to go here soon and the trader his uh name person guy is necrom ah shit i already forgot i know it's like necrom 23 if i am correct um i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it's like necrom 23 or you know something around there so getting this all nice for him uh i don't know if he's gonna be sending the same time i do or if he's just gonna wait until i get mine or until he gets my end of the deal uh, he has a lot more trades than I do. He's, I think he's, he's at least a gold star, if not a multiple gold star member. Uh, and it was pretty cool because I initially, I initially sent him a trade offer for a different title here in a moment. I'll, you'll see what I sent him an offer of. Uh, and I've been running out of people to send offers to. Because I've been looking for one of the specific items I'll be getting in the mail. I don't want to really spoil it yet. Uh, but I've been sending out the offers like crazy. Check my list. Check my list. Or if they have a similar item. Or if they actually... Like one person, they did have the item. And it was same value game. Uh, and it just sat there. It didn't go anywhere. Let's see. I think that's pretty good. Might be kind of overkill. But the initial item I originally sent them uh, was Vigilante 8. I was like, you know what, fuck it. You have one thing that's matching. Uh, otherwise, check my list, right? So he was like, you know what, I don't want... I don't... I want a complete game, something in better condition. Uh, I mean, this one isn't terrible. It has some, you know, scratches and shit. But, you know, nothing where it's going to detract from the value. Actually, I think it froze once or twice. But, you know, you know, don't spoil that. But either way, it is very playable. Uh, I haven't played it in years, actually. So I want to make sure nothing jostles around while it's in shipping too much. Uh, and I actually cut the box down to size because it was really twice this size. And I think that's all the peanuts. Okay, yeah, that's all good. Well, yeah, so even though he said he didn't want it, he, you know, took it off the trade list. It's, it, you know, I feel like being giving. This, the Vigilante 8 has been on my trade list since the beginning of my time on GameTradingZone.com. And it hasn't gone anywhere. So, you know what, hey, buddy, I don't care if you didn't want it or not. It's yours. Free shit, right? I just recently gave someone else free stuff, too. You know, I, li I like to... You know... Every once in a while... I like to share... You know, just do something good. Do something nice. I can't say I always have the opportunity to. This one, I, I was like, I figured, why not? You know, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just been sitting here... He didn't want it? Well, guess what, buddy? I'm sure you'll be glad to get it for free. So, pretty... Uh, okay, I think that's way more than enough at this point, but... Uh, oh, I was taping that all up and... Whatever. Okay, so, I think that's good. This is ready to go. And I'll be... Back here in a moment once I get all his stuff good to go. Okay, uh, got the package in. I want to go ahead and get on top of it so I can get my end done. 
and complete this trade. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention before, you know, kind of throw it in there. When I got the offer for the Dreamcast uh, gaming pad, I was all excited. I'm like, shit, yeah, I can grow some more games in my PlayStation 3 collection. Um, you know, I should have been able to, for that value, it was, eh, I actually kind of undercut myself on it a little bit. Let me see where I'm supposed to be able to get this open. I actually undercut myself a little bit on it. It's, like, hard to tell sometimes. Like, the lowest value I saw was, like, 60 bucks. I'm thinking I could have got, uh, you know, 60, 70 worth out of it. It's just really hard to tell, um, you know, what other people feel they would value it at. And it'd be really nice to know as well. So that's why I usually leave it open, just in case, you know, somebody wants to shoot me an offer, and it greatly exceeds, you know what I would be trying to offer for it, and, uh, what is it, you know, what I'd be trying to offer for it, or what I'd be expecting, I, let me see, I think I, I didn't even need to cut that right there, I'm trying to see what else over here, almost got it, I think, I don't want to tear anything open quite yet, right here, I guess, did pretty well. I don't want to open this like Christmas present or anything in case I might want to use this at a later point. Um, I was expecting him to do a little bit, you know, a different package, maybe a cardboard package like I sent to him. Um, but, you know, as long as nothing's damaged here, I see no reason to complain about that. Um, on, let, me, let me in the damn thing already. Since this is... Sealed rather tight. I'm sure I'll figure out why you, they did that in a moment. Is that the end I'm supposed to open from anyway? Or is it this end? I can't even tell. Whatever. Almost there. And if I do end up reusing this, I can always tape it shut. So, I got quite, quite a decent amount of stuff out of this. You know, I was I, I can't say I have any complaints. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and get on to it. Medieval Resurrection. Not too bad condition from what I can tell. Um, I played this a little bit when it originally came out on the PlayStation. Actually, I think I only played a demo of it. Maybe a friend rented it, but I only played a demo. And I'm like, hey, you know what? I want to try this out. This seems like something I might enjoy. Something a little different from what I've played, um, you know, on PlayStation Portable thus far. Let's get that out of here. This one's what I'm most excited for. This was my original offering, and I've been looking for this for a long fucking time. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, um, an exclusive to PlayStation Portable. Um, I've, it, I, it's not that I haven't seen this, um, but I haven't seen it for the value I wanted at. Like, really... I am not liking that that manual condition. Water damage. I think he had excellent. I'm not going to dock him on it, but I am going to... Um, you know, say something to him about it. I'm not very happy about it. I think he even had it noted as excellent condition. That's not excellent condition, my friend. I would, I'm anal enough that I would dock that down to a good... Um, we'll see how the disc is. As far as I could tell, the the case, uh, this, this is a very good, this isn't an excellent, I'm pretty sure he had this is an excellent, not a very good. Um, that water damage on the, on the manual, I'm not very happy about it all. Again, I'm, not, I'm gonna, I'm a nice guy, I'm not gonna dock his rating for it, but I'm not too happy about that. Um... But yeah, I've mostly been avoiding buying this because, really, I have a I have a big enough library as it is, a big enough library of games I've not yet played, um, and really, I'd rather just trade for it. Fifteen bucks, I'd rather trade for it. Uh, he had it like for eighteen bucks value, um, and uh, you know, I that that even then was iffy, but I'd rather. Uh, 
So Reckless, the Yakuza missions uh, on Xbox. Um, you know, I haven't read it, heard anything bad about this, but I've heard that it's like nothing amazing or anything to write home about. This looks this looks like it's more of a. Actually, I didn't see the disc condition over here. Might as well check that out. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm not too happy about the surprise of conditions of stuff so far, especially with that manual. I will be looking for a nice manual for that. Um, this right here is definitely a good condition. I wouldn't give it more than a good condition. Uh, from what I can tell of the wear and tear. Sometimes even with the wear that this has, I don't know if it's noticeable. I've avoided games that have had that kind of amount of wear. Like if I seen them in like GameStop and shit, I would not buy them. Um, that is if I could find a better condition one as well. I mean, sometimes I'd be like, whatever. Other times I'd be like, shit, no. Let's see. Uh, this isn't too bad. It's, it'll be playable. Again, I'm not too happy about the condition of that manual. I am look. I will be looking to um, get a better condition manual. Uh, I I don't really know a whole lot about this one. Mark of Cry, Mark of Cree, um, however you would pronounce that. Uh, I've read a little bit about it. Um, I can't say I was sold on it. I'm quoting it. If you can see my little gestures of quotes, man, whatever you want to call it. Wow. Something about PlayStation Underground. Isn't that back from the original PlayStation days? Um, but uh, I haven't heard anything bad about this. I've actually heard good things about it. Uh, however, you know, not so good things about its sequel. Um, so I'll be looking forward to playing that at some point, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Uh, which is this? Shinobi. Um... This wasn't like a big want, but, uh, you know, I figured a decent action game, something I can burn through quickly for my channel in case I decide to play something quick, stupid, easy, uh, hopefully that I can do cheats in case I suck too much at it. Actually, I think I might have rented this at some point many, many, many years ago, but I didn't even remember it until I actually, like, looked up gameplay footage of it. I was like, shit, I think I actually played that. I think I ex it was actually a bit difficult, and I did get stuck in it. However, in case I am in the mood to play something quick, stupid, simple, that's that's uh, going to take care of that. And Resident Evil Outbreak, that's it for this. Um, hopefully this is cool. Actually, I played the, a bit of this many years ago. I never finished all the story things, but I figured this is something simple, stupid, I can run through rather quickly. Um... And as far as I can tell, let's see. Should be all good. Looks like we're all good. Again, I'm not too happy about some of the condition. Um, I'll have to look back into it to see how the condition he noted on Reckless. Um, and... Uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Again, I'm not happy at all about the manual condition. If I would have known about that, I probably wouldn't have gone through the trade. Um, even that, just finding shit condition like that when I'm trying to shop for it in stores, like GameStop or whatever, I've avoided buying condition manuals like that. Uh, so I'm going to be looking for a manual that's in significantly better condition. I mean, this one's this one, I can't... I was hoping it wouldn't be any worse than this. I actually wasn't expecting the water damage. I mean, that's the condition it should be in, not with water damage. I'm not, I am not happy about that at all. Um, I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I'm not going to, you know, chew him out about it. I'm not going to dock his rating. But I wish I would have known about that. I probably wouldn't have gone through with it. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I've been dragging this out. I think it's it, it, all together. After I edit in the other part, I think it's gonna be like something like 13, 16, almost 20 minutes maybe. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do test runs of these over the next few days. Well, I, I got I got maybe at least a day or two worth of stuff to edit, 
So in the next couple of days, I'm going to sit down and play them, and they'll be up on my channel eventually, at least as test runs before I sit down and pl commit to playing anything. Um, otherwise, um, you know, oh yeah, this guy, I'm pretty sure his name was Necrom23. Uh, I'll leave a link for his uh, GameTZ.com page in my description. Again, my GameTZ.com is at the bottom of my description in the links that I include. Um, I'm not sure what to add. You know, if you if you're interested in doing some trades um, or, or buying anything of mine, always check out my GameTradingZone.com. I'm always open to an awesome, awesome uh, deal, an awesome trade. Uh, so you know, check out my shit. So let's let's work out something. I'm always open to work out something. Um, otherwise, I don't want to run in circles. I don't want to drag this out anymore. So, uh, you know, like, subscribe, check out all my crappy shit, and uh, peace.